This is our carriage, and that's Mrs. Dr. Freud. trading colony. When he came, he brought with him two French engineers. They surveyed and laid out the Vucare or Old City. Thirteen blocks in this direction, six blocks back from the river, our French Quarter was the whole city of New Orleans at one time. We have a marvelous school of cooking on your lap. For $29, they teach you to make gumbo jambalaya. Red pudding and pralines, you get to eat everything you make and take the recipes home. Nola's to your left, different colors to symbolize different epidemics in New Orleans history. The ones that had red dye in them symbolize the yellow fever epidemics of the 1850s. Worst in all of the United States history happened here in New Orleans in 1853, four months to yellow fever. Pretty bad when you consider the population was about 15,000 at the time. It almost wiped the world straight off the map. Now, there's one famous song that comes from the drugstore. It's called Bildo. This is what they song, the Louisiana Purchase. December 20th, 1803. Now, when they signed that document, it was for all the play, streetcar named Desire, in 1947. From that balcony, you can see the streetcar come straight down Royal Street. Now, we're gonna cross big shops, art galleries, jewelry stores, bar shops, boutiques, whatever your heart can desire. When it's hot like today, there are misty fans outside to keep you nice and cool. It's a lot of fun. When you see the two front doors, okay, usually they're two separate residences. Um, when we go down this stuff next block, I'll show you one that's got two street addresses on the same building. That is what we call a shop. Now, okay, they were taxed on the width of the property lot to pay less taxes, but to have more living space, they just made the houses longer. One hallway from the front, one next door, 919, 921. So two families that don't even know each other, you know, share the actual property. And usually one, you know, so a little bit more privacy that way. Now, I'm excited because when I take you this way, 
you'll get a really good idea about what you're missing behind all the walls and fences of the French Quarter residences. On your right hand corner, that town color building, you see the main house. Courtyard right behind it if you look through the gates. And then this tall skinny building in the back, I live in one of these. In the 17 and the 1800s, the top floor would usually be your slave or servant's quarters. The bottom floor would usually be the kitchen. Now, with our heat and humidity, you would never build a kitchen into the main house. Too sweltering and very dangerous, look how long. Because of the ladies' wide hoop skirts, too easy for them to catch on fire when they turn around near a hearth or a fireplace. Now, um, when we turn the corner here to the right, and when you have you look down the street to your left, you're going to see a white archway that says Armstrong Park. Back in the 1800s, they called that area Congo Square. That is where slaves socialized in worship on Sunday. Now, slaves in Louisiana were under French law. They were baptized Catholic right off the boat. Even Sunday off is a day of worship on rest. Nowhere else in the Deep South where slavery existed had a lot like that. It's one of several reasons why they caught the Big Easy laws were actually easier on the minorities. All right, so since we're in the more residential section of the French Quarter, I'm going to talk about a few things that you might want to do for touring. Um, my favorite thing to recommend is Airboat Adventures. I think they're the best swamp tour in the area. Now, the first time I went with them, he got us out in the middle of the swamp, turned off the ignition, jumped in the water with his knee-high wading boots, scooped up a baby alligator named Toodles. Toodles was about this big from the nose to the tail. Brought Toodles back on board the boat for everybody to hold our pet. Oh gosh. Now, that does not happen on a lot of the swamp tours. Usually, they put a marshmallow on a 10-foot pole, wave it over the boat like sissies. Not my guy. He jumped in there like Crocodile Dundee. He was amazing. Now, let me go to one. Now, um, my favorite company to take you is called Old River Road Plantation Adventures. They take you to two different plantations with lunch in between. The first plantation is Evergreen. That is where they film the movie Django Unchained. That house has 80% of the original belongings. It has every single one of the original slave quarters on the property. When you get done with lunch, they take you to San Francisco Plantation. Now, the lady of that house, she had a wallpaper. She hired an artist to come and paint a different story on every ceiling and every wall. Very artistically beautiful house. Uh, but what I really, excuse me folks, Sorry, she's got a lot of weight, I'm sorry. This is a bourbon what street. I really love about that plantation floor, bourbon we street. had that artist in the ballroom install stained glass windows. Now, she wrote in her diary, on nights of the full moon when she would have a ball, she would have all the servants and slaves douse the candles. The moonlight would shine through the stained glass and make rainbow prisms on the floor while people... That used to be the first United States District Court. Angie Jackson was fined one thousand dollars for looking off to Judge and Savior Hall here. The Creoles love him so much for keeping the British out of this city during that battle. Oh, they raised that one thousand dollars, gave him back every penny as a point of honor. There's two historical plaques in front of the building. If you want to check them out. Now, this is the creme de la creme for a lot of people. Look at the gorgeous old corn stuff fence hotel. See how the fences are filled with corn? Corn still got the top, punk is at the bottom of the pillars, morning glory flowers trailing up and down. Inside, you find four poster campers, marble fireplaces, black crystal chandeliers from Paris, France. Rooms here start at 120 bucks in the balcony suites. To make her feel more comfortable and at home, he wanted her 
to see your very own cornfield from the bedroom window every morning. Now, that's a sweet romantic story. It's also a bunch of made up malarkey. <laughs> Antoinette grew up right here. It was simply the product of 28 separate pairs of cast iron corn stalks shipped 2,123 miles down the Mississippi River to New Orleans. So, the shipping, handling, and assembly of that fence loan, being three times the fence's original price, made her the envy of all the desperate housewives in the French Quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend French perfumes on your right, oldest perfumery in the city. They predate the Civil War. Coming around you, ma'am. They predate the Civil War, 1843. Thank you. Now, what I love about them, if you don't have a lot of money, New Orleans made it bigger, better, prettier, and fun. Library Bookshop on your left. If you want to learn more about the folklore, legends, books to your ghost stories of all New Orleans, they also have incredible photography books and pictures of the River Road plantations, our district mansions, and our French Quarter home. Now, folks. When we get to the corner, I'm going to make you look down the street real quick. At the end, there's a beautiful 24 karat gold leaf statue of Joan of Arc, the maid of all ladies. We like to call her Joni on the pony. <laughs> Given to us as a gift from France, she was solid silver when they hauled her off the boat. She sat on Canal Street for several years. Along came Paris Casino Corporation. They wanted to get the poster board for Airborne Adventures. 